Are you constantly complaining about office politics every day at work? Can't comprehend why your lazy colleague is able to climb up the ladder faster than you? Stressing about the ever-increasing amount of work you are receiving but not getting the recognition? After this video, you'll be able to handle office politics like a pro and outperform your colleagues. Hi everyone, Toso Caveman here. I post videos talking about interesting topics to spark critical thinking and opinions while learning new skills, practicing old ones, or reviewing products. While we discuss on today's topic, I'll be learning a cut flourish move called the band weight. Hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to achieve this move. Do also stick around till the end for a bonus tip. Tip number one, never outshine your boss. This may sound contradictory as people were constantly taught to do their best at work. I do agree that we have to do our best at work, but sometimes when we do too good of a job, it can make your boss feel insecure, especially if you outshine him with your work in front of everyone. We can argue that our boss are really nice and they have no such intentions. But if we were to put ourselves in their shoes, where we have an employee constantly outshining you, causing people around him to feel that he can take over your job, will you feel threatened? Even if there is no such chance for him to take over your position as the boss, he is constantly making you feel like you are doing a bad job. In this situation, tendency for the boss to backstab you and decrease your opportunities to climb would be on the obvious side. Tip number two relates really closely to the first tip, which is to elevate your boss. We have already established that people in high positions tend to be insecure. That's why during the dynasty period, you have kings killing off their offsprings to increase their reigning period. They will eliminate everything that threatens their position. Thus, you should take whatever opportunities that you have to make your boss look good. Instead of threatening his position, you should help him to secure his position. Give him the credits for the work you have done during meetings. Tell the boss of your boss that he's really capable and provided lots of guidance leading to your achievements. With you constantly uplifting and securing his position, he will bring you to higher heights you could never have imagined than if you simply work hard and do your job. Tip number three, do not do any work that people cannot see. If you're constantly working hard behind the scenes and no one is aware of what you're doing, what's the point? You slough your entire day, week after week, night after night, where your lazy colleague is climbing up the corporate ladder faster than Karen's dashing after discounts. If you're intending to work overtime, let your boss know. Tell him you're intending to stay overtime to work on the successful launch of the project. Soak up extra work by your colleague, or fully craft a playful reply to your boss that your colleague gave you extra work, probably due to his lack of knowledge. Tip number four, always look busy. Even if you don't have any work to do, or simply cause you have finished your work too quickly, never ever look free. If you show that you are too free, you will only receive more work. If you don't receive more work, people will get the impression that you are slacking off, when in reality, you are simply much more efficient than them. So, what should you do in this situation? If your office permits you to head to other work sites, just head over there even if you don't need to. Have a nice stroll, then head back. People would think that you are working really hard to go off your way to personally head to the work site for inspection. If you are going from place to place inside your office, walk quickly to show urgency. Whether you are walking urgently to buy yourself a drink or just to the toilet, your colleagues and bosses would be impressed to see you working hard. For sticking around, here's a bonus tip that I've promised at the start of the video that will help you climb the corporate ladder faster than your lazy desk buddy. Work on projects that the higher management wants. There's no point in taking up countless number of projects that the bosses are not interested in. You can take up 3, 4, or 5 projects, but you will never climb faster and higher than that one colleague who simply took up one project that the bosses are actually invested into. Find out what your bosses want, take up these projects, and do your best in it while implementing the previous few mentioned tips. What if you are thrown with other useless projects? Do them with minimal effort, or if possible, give it to your other colleagues and tell them how great this project would be on his resume if he takes it up. Implement these strategies and you are sure to excel in the office.